Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with what's going on in the world of Transformers, with what's going on with my YouTube and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. Now, there's not so much happened this weekend um, and up until the last couple of days, obviously we had the Fan First Friday that in honesty was a bit uneventful, but I think the aftermath of that means there's not too much going on just yet but a few things to go through with you here a few pictures here and the first is two vintage beast war deluxe figures that have been revealed funnily enough not on the hasbro thing but there is going to be wolf fang and this is the only picture that we've got at the moment but it has been confirmed that it is going to be able to be ordered so that's one thing and of course this comes hot on the heels after the vintage beast wars cyber shark that we actually do have images of and again, I'm liking the fact that they are doing this Vintage Beast Wars. Um, yeah, just, I suppose, reissues. It's it's good to see other lines of toys of the Transformers continuity, not just G1, constantly getting the updates and the reissues. So, yeah, it's good. And it's good for myself because I get to experience them as well after missing out firsthand. Right, what we've got here now, and I'm a bit sceptical about this, purely because of the date. Uh, this is all over social media, by the way. This is, I've got this particular screenshot from TFW 2005. It's on T-Formers, etc. This is, um, you might want to pause this. I'm going to talk about it briefly, but this is a load of figures that are going to be released on the 1st of April. That's why I'm a little bit sceptical. Um, and it's all the new figures for the new film, Rise of the Beast, which we know has been pushed way, way back. So... Um, I don't know. Um, this seems just too early to be getting all these figures. So, of course, the ones that are standing out, we know there's Bumblebee, Mirage, we've got Rhinox, Cheetor, we've got uh, Crescent, we've got RC, Optimus Primal, Scourge um, and Wheeljack. So they're the main characters and the names that are kind of there. Combine the two-pack RC, combine the two-pack Bumblebee. They all sound interesting. Um, no pictures yet, but I'm a little bit sceptical with the fact that they're allegedly to be released on the 1st of April. I don't know if that's just me being too sceptical, but fingers crossed they do. Um, I'm not saying they don't release figures before the movies come out. Of course they do, but with this, it just seems a little bit too early considering how far they've pushed back Rise of the Beasts. Moving on, Moon Studios, they are really, I was going to say proper, they are proper churning out these uh, train bots of theirs, aren't they? So this this is probably the worst name of the one so far. This is Cool Peak and this is their take on Cezanne. But again, he looks really good. If all the things I've got to worry about is the fact I don't like the name, it's not really that important. They've just got these two shots of him. And I know a few people who've got the Moon Studios bots in hands already and I'm hearing nothing Nothing but great things about that. And again, I can't wait to see some of them in person. I myself have the Takara ones on pre-order. Um, so I can't wait to see them either. I just love the fact that they're doing raids and I think it's a brilliant idea. Right. This was, again, expected because whenever you get an Optimus Prime, you either get an Ultra Magnus or a Nemesis Prime. And that's exactly what this is. But I think these look brilliant. So this is Nendroid Nemesis Prime. And these are cute chibi star renditions of the classic Transformer characters. And I'm just reading this. Yes, you can see it's available from where is it from 8th of February to the 7th and 17th of March. And it's $54.99. But it looks good. It looks good. Um, there he is. It is cute. It is funny. Uh, there he is with his gun. There he is pointing. I haven't got all of the pictures. There he is with his brilliant axe. And of course, you've got to have him battling the normal Optimus Prime as well. <laughs> they look really good. If they were available in the UK, I'd probably get one of them just because I think it looks super cute. Again, one thing we've only got one particular picture of, and this is Three Zeros DLX, The Last Night Optimus Prime. Um, this is going to be some incredible piece. Of course, it's non-transforming, but... If anything of Studio Series Sound waves that to go by, it doesn't really make much difference because we don't know what it is. But this is going to be 11.2 inches tall and it's got 72 points of articulation. So this is going to be an incredibly beautiful um, statue, which again, that's the only picture we've got so far. So I'm amazed, well, looking forward rather to see exactly what you can and can't do with that. But literally, that's it. That's all there is to go through with this really quick news update with things that I've found. Typically, there'll probably be something later on today. If there is, of course, I'll bring the news to you uh, straight away. With regards to the channel, I'm just moving on to my Japanese exclusive shelves for the Complete Collection Tour. Um, I've got a few other things to be catching up on. Uh, with the Instagram ones, I'm doing some 
group shots on the back of that board there which is very kindly made for me but yeah there's loads of things going on um I seem to be doing quite a few i've got a few backlogs ready just random transformations if people just want because i never used to do them on my videos if you want any transformation video only um sorry transformation only videos just let me know especially if i've done videos on the figures i will get around to doing them as soon as possible and upload them for you as soon as possible but there you go guys thanks for watching take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe